Completing a study on the portal. In order to complete a study, the following steps must be followed. Step 1. Initiating a study. Step 2. Uploading a study. Step 3. Formatting the device. Step 4. Entering questionnaire responses. Step 5. Voiding a study. Step 1. Initiating a study. First, patient information must be entered to initiate a study. To do this, on the Sleep Profiler homepage, select the Device Management button. Insert a micro USB cable into the device. Do not force the cable into the connector as it may bend the connector pins and could require a repair not covered under warranty. Insert the other end of the cable into a USB connector on your computer. A voice message will indicate the device has been powered on. Warning, the device is charging. Click the Refresh button. The device serial number will appear under Device Data. To initiate a study, the device status must be prepared. If it is not, click the Format Device button and follow the on-screen instructions. After formatting, device status will now be prepared. Click on the Edit Patient Info button. Enter the information on the Patient Info tab. Use the Study tab to select either a diagnostic or treatment follow-up study. Click Transfer to Device. This transfers the patient information to the portal database and downloads a study reference number to the device. Click Sleep Profiler Home. A study has now been created with the patient name and a status of study underway. To maintain patient privacy, personal information is not saved to the device. The study reference number links the study file to the patient information in the database. Unplug the device. A voice message will indicate device has been powered off. The device is now ready to be given to a patient and used to record a study. Step 2. Uploading a study. Once the patient has worn the device and recorded a study, the study must be uploaded from the device to the portal. To do this, on the Sleep Profiler home page, select the Device Management button. Connect the device to your computer using the micro USB cable. Click the Refresh button. The device serial number will appear under Device Data. The device status should be recorded, indicating that a study is available for upload. Press the Upload Study button. You must keep the window showing the progress bar open for the file transfer to the Sleep Profiler portal to complete. The upload will take a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the progress bar shows Upload Successfully Finished, the device status changes to Transferred. Click Sleep Profiler Home to return to the home page. Locate the patient name on the available studies list. The status Study Processing is presented. After a few minutes, click the Refresh button to see the status change to Preliminary Report Available once processing is complete. Step 3. Formatting for the next study. Now that the study has been successfully uploaded, the device needs to be formatted to prepare it for the next study. To do this, on the Sleep Profiler homepage, select the Device Management button. Connect the device to your computer using the micro USB cable. Click the Refresh button. The device serial number will appear under Device Data. Select Format Device. Formatting will remove old study data from the device memory. Click Yes to confirm that the existing study information may be deleted. To complete formatting, you will be instructed to turn the device off while the device remains connected to the portal. 
After a few seconds, the device will automatically turn back on. Formatting is now complete. Note the status has changed to prepared. The device is now ready for reuse and the next study can be initiated. Step 4. Entering Questionnaire Responses Anytime after a study has been initiated, history and physical information may be entered. To enter questionnaire information for a study, locate the patient name in the available study list. Select Actions and Reports and click on New Questionnaire. Four screens will be presented in order to input patient responses from the questionnaire. Step 5. Voiding a study. If a study was initiated and is no longer going to be used, the study can be voided. To do this, with the device plugged into the computer, select Device Management and then click on Format Device. Select Yes to Format and then click OK and turn the device off when indicated. The study number is now removed from the device and the device can be assigned to a new patient. Locate the study to be voided on the home page. In the status column, change the status to study voided. Be careful, voiding a study cannot be undone. 